Bruce, let's start with you and this challenge for the Prime Minister who uh, has said repeatedly in opposition any government, he doesn't want to leave people behind. At the same time today, we see this letter uh, signed by uh, many people in both the care sector, but academics, economists and so on, calling for an increase in job seeker. It puts the mm. PM and the Treasurer in a difficult spot ahead of the budget. Well, they may well be thinking about it already. Uh, we don't know that because we haven't seen the budget. But uh, at less than $50 a day for unemployed people to survive, I think it's becoming a real stretch now. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if the government does respond positively to the plight of the unemployed. Uh, we don't have a heck of a lot of unemployed people here, although it may get worse if the economy continues to uh, teeter. But um, I think that the time has come for a, a boost to, uh, un to the unemployment rate. Uh, as we've heard from economists talking on your program today, uh, it has dropped considerably compared to, say, the uh, age pension. And uh, while there's a lot of sympathy for people getting uh, an age pension, public sympathy has tended not to be so strong towards the unemployed. In fact, sometimes it's been quite hostile. But these are tough times. The cost of living is increasing. And uh, the unemployed are going to be as affected by that as anybody else. Now, I think the yeah. issue of, of, uh, of inflation is a significant one. But none of these things can be easily calibrated. And I think just for the sake of... And making sure that those people don't fall too far behind, that they do need a bit of a boost.